Hello, today I'm going to talk about trends in academic module IELTS Task 1. So as you can see, I have drawn this trend here, which begins in the year 1990, goes to the year 2020. So what's really important about trends is the time period that you have, so you have to be really careful about the tense that you have, and it's also always important to be aware of the vocabulary words and phrases that you're going to use. And about, the, um, and about the stats or figures or numbers or percentages that you are going to actually use in your work. Don't try to fill up your work with too many uh, vocabulary words and many phrases. So what you have to do is just selectively look at um, uh, the, the prominent or the major uh, shifts uh, or changes in a trend. So, Let's just say that this is a trend about the population of visitors to a specific country. So it's always important, by the way, to pay attention to what you are describing and where this trend is taking place and when exactly. All right, so if that's in the past, so you're gonna use simple past tense. If we are going to talk about um, a certain, let's say, um, event or trend that begins in the past and continues until today, you have to also be careful about it because you might want to use present perfect tense at some point here when you're going to see, for example, how um, a trend is going to um, start stable um, a pattern or movement or trend and then um, until today, which is the year 2018, you need to, you actually need to um, express the time or the tense actually in simple, um, in present perfect tense. Okay, so let's take a look at this trend now. As you can see, the, the, uh, the proportion of the population or the number of the visitors to this uh, place, the city um, or town, um, as I have written here, this, this sentence, so you can actually begin uh, this, describing this trend with this sentence. This could be a good pattern for you uh, for a sentence structure to begin your trend. So the population of visitors or the number of visitors or the proportion of population or only proportion of visitors um, stood at just under because it's not exactly one million. So this is the vertical um, axis. So it's not exactly one million. It's just below or under one million people. One million in 1990, so it's important to, whenever you're going to uh, mention a specific trend, it's very important to mention the stats, figures, numbers, or percentages, um, and the year that it actually takes place, right? So in 1990, one million. That's one thing. And then, as you can see, this trend is a uh, dramatic growth. And I've talked in other videos about the vocabulary words and expressions that you're going to use. So this is basically a dramatic um, a growth that you could see. So uh, you could say that the uh, number of visitors uh, grew dramatically from 1990 to this year, which is almost, we could say, um, 1995, right? So we, we could use words such as approximately, roughly, 1995, or about 1995. Um, and then, because this is actually just above 5 million, so you could say that grew dramatically to just above 5 million in 1995. So you could say the number of visitors to a specific uh, um, a country destination place grew dramatically from just under 1 million people, or just 1 million in 1990, to just above 5 millions uh, in 1995. So grew dramatically, don't forget that. If, for example, if the pattern shows these movements or these slopes, not that steep, you could also say moderately. So it rose moderately, the, the trend or the population of visitors uh, grew or rose moderately, and this one slowly or slightly, depending on the slope that it has. So we come here, 
So we try to basically mention the point of departure or the start point, and then here, that will be the second point that we're going to include in our work, and then here, so the population plummets or plummeted actually because that's past plummet or slumped in the year 2000 or in 2000. If you want to mention the specific uh, uh, numbers, you could mention them by uh, words, by actually prepositions such as by and to. When you say by, you basically look at the differences in, in the numbers. For example, you say that uh, the number of visitors to X, a special um, place, you know, we don't know that, um, grew dramatically to just above 5 million, followed by, you could also say followed by, a, um, a decline or a, a, a plummet or a slump, reaching at, I think this is 4 million, reaching at 4 million, or you could say, uh, a, a, followed by a plummet uh, by because it's just above um, 5 million and then here 4 million so you're gonna just um, do the math it's um, a almost 1 million difference so by 1 million you could also say that or 2 4 millions instead so the difference is 1 million right and the the end point is 2 million, I'm, I'm sorry, 2, um, 4 millions, so that's what you're going to do. And then you look at the remaining pattern that you have, remaining movement. So here this is rising again. You could just stop your sentence there and then you could also say that, all right, so this, what you see is again another dramatic uh, growth. So you, could, you may want to continue that, the number of visitors. Um, um, rose or increased or grew uh, dramatically until the year that we have here, say 2005, reaching at, what's this exactly? If you want to say that this is, this is the point that we have, this is just below 7 million. And this is very important because from here, from this point in time to this point in time actually, as you can see, we have a steady growth, right? So you could say the population grew, uh, I'm sorry, has, uh, has been, stop it. You could just 